What's going on YouTube? Today we are bringing you the full length Division 1 title game. We are matched up against a team of three forwards, all maxed out players. We've got two guys you may not have seen on this channel. We've got Doug Peters back on right D, and we've got my man Junior Hawk 16 playing left wing. Uh, Junior Hawk is a new addition to the club. We've played with Doug a few times here and there. But um, Junior Hawk's a new addition. Brought him over from my brother's club. Uh, he's a great little player. He's averaging almost two goals a game right now. Um, don't know if we'll have a spot for him in this playoff run unless maybe Dougie can't get on or something. But we're going to be pretty set. We're going to have the three regular forwards. Uh, Junior Hawk plays a great defense as well. So he's available to play right D if we need him for the playoffs if we can't get Dougie to play. But... Um, as far as that goes, we should be pretty set. We've got the three forwards. Blum will be there for sure. Um, either Dougie or Junior Hawk back on right D. We are on a hot run right now. We are 9-1-0 and over our last 10 games. I'll tell you what, guys. It is a lot easier playing with five players on the ice. Right now we have four. But when you play with five guys on the ice... It just takes all the stupid computer shit out of the game. You don't get Irwin throwing suey passes in front of his own net for one-timers to the other team. Things just go a lot more smoothly when you've got five guys out there on the ice. We don't play a lot of sixes. We don't really have a goalie that we play with. There's one guy, it's Gamertag Goalie God, with some X's here and there and whatnot. But he's a really solid goalie, but I mean, we don't really play with him. He's not really a part of the club. He just came to play with us one or two times just for fun. But we usually run a lot of fives if we can get all five guys online. This is the first time we've had fives ever since uh, Bill Kralis left the club. He went over to uh, PlayStation 4. Good one-timer action from our D-man right now. Dougie and Blum, those guys have chem. They played together on the beer men. The beer men has pretty much come to a close. Don't really think that team's active anymore. We brought over Dougie. Blum's here for good. Um, low rail, their one center, uh, might end up over here at some point in time. We don't know yet. But I've got some talking points I want to talk about during this video since this is going to be 19 minutes. So I'm going to have to come up with a lot of shit to talk about. Right now, Brobeans is taking it up the right wall, trying to put a rebound on. Nothing there. But uh, we skipped all the whistles and stoppages just to try to cut down the video a little bit. It, w it originally was like 24 minutes, and it came out to about 18 and a half minutes of gameplay. So there's somewhere around six minutes of stoppage time whenever you're playing an online game, if you're wondering about that. But uh, one of the talking points, Senators and Penguins coming up on Game 7. Senators able to pull out the 2-1 victory at home in Game 6. That Game 7 is going to be a dandy. You know, I think um, I'm personally rooting for the Senators in that series. I've got nothing against the Penguins. I don't really care for Sidney Crosby. But, I mean, I can't deny the fact that he's a great hockey player, but I just think uh, Senators and Predators, I think that would be great for the game of hockey. You know, get two underdog-type teams going up against each other in the Stanley Cup. Stop seeing, uh, you know, the Penguins, Blackhawks, whatever, seeing them up there. Brobeans with the clap bomb opening up the scoring here. one nothing lead in the first period, about 6.31 to go. You know, I mentioned seeing the same teams, you know, Penguins, Blackhawks, seeing them in the finals a lot, but at least we're not the NBA. We're going to have the same two teams playing each other in the finals for the third straight year. What kind of shit is that? That's why the NHL will always have the best playoffs in all of sports. It doesn't get the most media time. Look at Blum laying two big hits in a row at the same shift, but it doesn't always get the best media ratings and whatnot. You know, it's not the most popular game. That's just because people don't give it a chance, you know? It's the greatest sport on earth. It has the greatest playoffs on earth. You have to win 16 games to win the championship, the Stanley Cup. You know, the NFL, you can walk in there, 
not having to win any more than four games to pull it out. MLB, the wild card round, is just too short. But, I mean, I can't blame them. You don't want to tear through your pitching staff in the playoffs. But the NHL will always have the best playoffs in all of sports. Um, sorry we couldn't get our party audio into this video. I wish that's something we had the capability to do. At this time, we do not have the uh, necessary equipment and technology to provide that for you. That would be a great asset to this channel. You'd hear uh, Blum rage, drop a few F-bombs here and there on Rammer. Can't get that rebound to go. 16 seconds left in the period. But, um, you know, we're not pro VSOs. We don't have our parents going out to buy us recording equipment for YouTube as we close out the first period here. Total domination from Manuel Sauce. Only allowed one shot against in that period. Um, one of my talking points I want to talk about during this video is prestige doesn't mean anything in this game. You know, you can be a third prestige maxed out player. That doesn't matter. This isn't NHL 15 where if you're a legend three, your player is going to have better stats, you know, better ratings. He's going to be a higher overall player than someone who just got the game. No. A level one can play with the same exact player build as somebody who has their player totally maxed out. So, you know, prestige doesn't mean anything more than that person's played more games than you. And um, with the playoffs coming up, that's one thing that's going to come into play every time we try to play the playoffs. We get matched up against teams, and they just back out when they see our prestige. Like, there's just a bunch of scrub hunters that don't want to play against tough teams in the playoffs. And, I mean, I guess I don't blame them. You know, you want to bring home a cup for your club, which I understand, but... You know, you see a tough team and you should say, hey, you know, let's take these guys on. Let's see if we're up to the challenge. Like, we've never backed down from a team. The only time we back out, say we have five players and we match up against twos. Like, we don't want to play against two guys and three computers. That's just annoying. But, um, so for this coming playoff run, uh, we might upload every uh, individual game one by one. But that's going to take up a lot of memory space. So we might not do that. We'll see what we can do there. Um, the other option for that is to do what we did last time and just record every goal, fight, all that stuff. Just get the important stuff in there. Every big play in the game, every turning point, you know, penalties, uh, last, say, 30 seconds of the game, get that taken down. So hopefully we'll be able to upload each individual game, but that might be a bit much. So what's probably going to happen is we'll just ha we'll have one long video of all the important things that happened during the playoff run and the little playoff tree in between like we did last time. There goes Junior Hawk sniping one top cheddar. That dude has been hot since he came over to this club. But us being up 2 nothing right here brings me back to the point that prestige doesn't mean anything. You know, Dougie's a first prestige player. He's like first prestige level 16, maybe 26. I don't know, maybe I shorted him a little bit there. I didn't uh, check at the beginning of the video, but, you know, Dougie's first prestige, and he's shutting down these maxed out players right now. You know, they had a decent chance right there, but they haven't had much for offense. They only had one shot in the first period, but, you know, Dougie's first prestige, Junior Hawk's not even maxed out. He's been tearing things up since he came to this club. So, really, it just gets annoying when teams back out when they see our levels. Like, all that means is that EA might actually try to help you out and have their computers for your team play better than the computers for our team. There have been plenty of times where the computers of the other team are playing noticeably better than ours, specifically the defensemen. Like, they'll just shut you down and they won't let you get into the zone and get anything going. They won't even let you take, like, a cheese wrister from 35 feet out, you know? They just step up and hit you with these little bumps that shouldn't knock you off the puck, but they do anyway. And then you've got our D pair, which feels the need to try to step up on the rush and just give up unlimited amounts of breakaways and two-on-ones, two-on-os, just unlimited amounts of chances. And really, we've narrowed it down. Every time we're playing a really computer-based game, like twos or threes, usually... It tries to spot the lower team, like, two or three goals that they probably shouldn't have. 
and then it gives us a chance to get back in and has us lose by, you know, one goal or has us lose in overtime or something. So we stick around like, oh, we could have had that one. Like, no, we should have fucking won that game by five goals, but you decided to have, you know, Erwin and Elliot have the game of their lives, and we got Ethan Stevens and Olexi over here playing like a pile of dog shit. And, you know, EA will deny it all they want. They'll deny the tilt every time you try to bring it up. But I think this run we're on right now just proves it. We have limited computer-based games going on right now. We played a shit ton of fives, and now we're running fours right now. And we're dominating every team we play. We had, like, four teams lag out in the past ten games. Like, it's getting ridiculous at this point. We're dominating everyone. Look at that snipe from the computer, of course, but the computer snipes one, and they actually goal watch that. We're skipping all the whistles, so thank God you guys didn't have to sit there and watch the replay of Elliot going top cheddar, but back to my point, this run that we're on right now, like, if we play all of our games with five players online, I have no doubt in my mind that you could knock at least 50 losses off of our record. Like, when we have two defensemen back there, we got Dougie, Blum, or when we had Blum and Bill, nobody generated any type of offense against us. Every goal was some type of, you know, unlucky bounce, or maybe every once in a while they made a great pass that trickled through our D, even though they were in good position. But other than that, we really never gave up any chances on our own end when we've got a full squad online and we've got two defensemen out there. And I think that is a really overlooked aspect of EASHL. Most of the really high-ranked teams, the reason they're so high is because they play nothing but fives and sixes. So it takes all of the computer aspects out of the game. It, take, it even takes the computer goalies out of the game when you play sixes. But we just really don't have a goalie that plays with us that we trust enough that we could put them in there and have them put up quality goalie numbers for us. We'll bring things back to one of my talking points here. I already mentioned um, in the playoffs, one thing that's going to happen is a lot of teams are going to back out because they're scrub hunting and they're trying to pick up easy wins for their team in the playoffs. But the other thing that's going to happen, we're going to match an ungodly amount of twos. And I'm sorry, but if it's the playoffs and we've got five guys online, I'm not playing anything less than three players. Like, I'm sorry, I don't want to play against your computers in the playoffs. That's just not a fair matchup. And I would like for each team to have at least one defenseman because I feel like it's a lot easier to generate offense against user D because most of them aren't that smart. You know, our defensemen, they do an excellent job. They're a rarity in this game. It's hard to find defensemen that play a good, solid, stay-at-home game. But our guys do a good job. And when they jump up, we've got people filling back in behind them. And that's another thing. If you've got a user D, that computer forward isn't going to fill back in behind him and help him out. He's going to stay up on forward, and he's just going to bail out on the rush when the puck's going out on his end. Check out that save. Okay. I guess that makes up for the computer goal or whatever. But they probably should have scored on that. That was an unreal save from our goalie. I will give them that one. I would be pissed if that puck didn't go into the net if we were the ones that had that chance. So we've got about 10 minutes left in the period here. Let's do a little commentary action, why don't we? They've got the puck down on our boards trying to cycle it around. We're on the power play. We've got to get that thing out of our own zone. There it is. There's a hit from Junior Hawk. The breakout pass to Junior Hawk. He's going forehand, backhand, and he puts that in. That man is hot. He is sizzling. He's got the bro beans mullet going on. The Jager mullet, what a beaut. Like I said, this kid has been a great addition for our team. The first game we played with him, we had uh, Brobeans at center, Junior Hawk at left wing, Deb Suk at right wing, and then Blum and Doug on defense. We opened up a can on this team, six to nothing, and they left the game like five minutes into the second period. We just absolutely opened up a can. And this is a D1 team. Like, they had a maxed out center on their team. A couple of first and second prestigers in there as well. But, like, this should have been a decent team, and we just absolutely ran it down their throats. Junior Hawk had a great game. I think he put up a hattie in his first game with us. That dude has been sizzling hot ever since he came over to this club. I'm going to bring it into one of my final talking points here. 
Um, we're going to talk about the League Gaming Hockey League. Um, it's this league called LG. There's the LG CHL, AHL, NHL. Basically, you work your way up the ranks. But um, there's a lot of guys in LG CHL that just think they're the bee's knees when it comes to this game. And if any of you are watching this video right now, you know, stick us with Snipe from Brobeans. Ride the stick right into the crease. But stick us with any LG team, you know, we will match up our five guys against any five guys from LG. You can throw any goalie in that league in net for us. You know, as long as they're somewhat decent. They're not just a pile of poo back there. Look at Blum with the grease. But as long as we get somewhat of a decent goalie, you know, not just some jabroni who doesn't know how to play the game. Or someone with half of a brain back there in net. I will take our five players against any team in the LG, CHL, LG, AHL, and probably 75% of the teams in the LG, AHL. And, you know, yes, that is a challenge. We can take on any of you. Check this out. We pulled the goalie just to mess with them, just to show them how bad they get dominated. But I have full confidence that we could just run that league. And, actually, we might have some videos for you. Um, personally, me, I played for the uh, LG Peterborough Peets. I only played, like, one or two games. Uh, scored the game winner in overtime in my debut in that league. But I only played, yeah, like one or two games with them. I was uh, in, on training camp all season. But um, that team wanted to pick up our entire squad of fives. But I told them, you know, we might not always be able to have defensemen on, but we can get you our three forwards for sure. And so they're trying to pick up um, Magnello at center. They're trying to get McCringleberry in there. They're trying to get Dabsuk and should have me, Bro Beans. They should have the three of us together. They want to put us all on one line, and I'm going to prove my point. I'm going to upload clips for you. If we all get put on the same team in LG, I guarantee we're not scoring less than six goals in a game, especially against a user goalie. It's going to be a cakewalk. So we'll have the clips ready for you uh, as soon as the LG season starts if we're on a team. If we don't get all put onto the same team, then we're not going to play. That's the only reason we wanted to play that league is because we thought it would be fun to all play together in that league and just show off some skill, get some exposure for our channel out there. thought it might be a good thing to do. So we're closing in on the final seconds of this game here as the puck trickles out of the zone. It's going to be a... Division one title for Manuel Sauce. This game was complete and total domination. A five to one win for the good guys out there in those beautiful yellow unis. A lot of teams probably think those are highly annoying, but that's why we picked that as one of our colors. Um, so we can wear a colored jersey on the road and we don't have to just wear white. Obviously, if we match up against a team with yellow home, jer home jerseys, we're going to switch that up. There goes Junior Hawk with the forehand backhand. There goes Bro Beans with the top corner cheddar. Here comes Blum crashing the net hard. Why did they call that out? Nobody knows. And here goes Junior Hawk with the top corner cheese right where Mama hides the Thin Mints on the top shelf. So that'll wrap things up for this game. Here's a look at the stat line for you. Held them to nine shots on goal. They had a decent amount of time on attack. I think they actually beat us in time on attack, but we were able to keep them to the outside, limit their scoring chances. Here's a look at the player stats for the game. Junior Hawk, two goals, two assists. Big game for him on the left wing. And that brings our record, including the playoffs, to 280 wins, 155 losses, and 45 overtime losses. We're going to go ahead and end the video right there. Hope you guys enjoyed, and make sure to like and subscribe.